Hello dear student, myself, Mrs. Jayashir Shital Kumar Kamre, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, CK Thakur College, Panvel. In this video, you are going to learn about the concept of mitosis, which is from Paper 2, Unit 1, Cell Biology. Before going to learn about the concept of mitosis, we should know the definition of mitosis. So mitosis is a process where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells that are genetically identical to itself. That means whatever the cellular material that is equally divided into the two daughter cell. The term mitosis is derived from the Greek word mitos that means what wrap the thread. The term mitosis coined by Walder Fleming in 1882. It is also known as equational cell division because the chromosome number in the parent cell and daughter cell is the same. For example, human cell. Human cell consists of a 46 chromosome. Whenever the human cell is divided, the both of the daughter cell will contain the 46 chromosome. Mitosis is carried out in a somatic cell. It is never carried out in a germ cell that means egg cell and sperm cell. Crossing over and recombination also does not occur in this process. Now mitosis is having a four phases. These phases are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. The last phase we can say is a cytokinesis. But before entering into this mitotic phase, cell has to pass the interphase. Interphase is the phase which is a preparatory phase where cell prepare itself for the further mitotic phase. In the interphase, again there are three phases, G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. G1 phase G1 phase, it is also called as a gap 1 phase. It is the period before the synthesis of DNA. S phase, this phase is the during which DNA synthesis takes place. S phase is also called as a synthesis phase. Then the last phase or the third phase, it is a G2 phase or gap 2 phase. It is the phase between the end of DNA synthesis and the beginning of the prophase. After the G2 phase, the cell enter into the mitotic phase that means prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Let us see one by one the each of this phase. Come to the prophase. In the prophase, which is the first phase, the condensation of the chromosome into X shape is carried out. Whatever the chromosome, they are before the prophase, they are in the form of a thread. These chromosome now get condensed and become short so they can fit into a small nucleus. So condensation of chromosome is carried out in a prophase. Afterward, each of the chromosome which are in the homologous pair, they come to each other and pairs with each other. Hence, they are aligned according to their number. After the nuclear membrane which is intact, it is get dissolved in this phase. Further, formation of mitotic spindle and microtubule is simultaneously carried out into the prophase. After the prophase, it is goes to the next phase that is a metaphase. But before entering into the metaphase, it is has to pass from the pro metaphase which is just before the metaphase in the metaphase <coughs> the chromosomes lines up neatly end to end along the center or the equator the centriole which is formed somewhere into the cell now they are move at the respective pole so these centriole are opposite poles of the cell then the attachment of the mitotic spindle fiber to the sister chromatid is carried out. So in the next step, this with the help of mitotic spindle, this sister chromatid are pulls to respective pole. After the metaphase, 
the cell goes into the next stage that is called as a anaphase here the sister chromatids are pulled apart by the mitotic spindle which pull one chromatid to one pole and other chromatid to the another pole so here equal division of the chromatid is carried out after the anaphase the cell is goes for the next stage that is called as a telophase in the telophase the gathering of the full set of the chromosome at each pole of the cell is carried out also the new nuclear membrane is forms around the each set of the chromosome simultaneously pinching of a single parent cell into the middle is formed so that the two daughter cell can be separated after pinching of this single parent cell the two separate daughter cell will be formed subsequently so in this way the process of mitosis is carried out from the single cell by passing a prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase a two daughter cell will be formed at the end of the mitosis then afterwards we will see the significance of mitosis mitosis is responsible for the development of the zygote into an adult it is an equal distribution of the chromosome to each daughter cell mitosis is responsible for the growth and development of an individual it also maintains the constant number of chromosome mitosis is required for the asexual production reproduction vegetative propagation in plants it helps in maintaining the purity of the genome as no recombination or crossing over takes place it is also responsible for the repair and regeneration of old and damaged cells in the animals example gut epithelium blood cells etc this is all about the mitosis